guy Czar here just entered right now on a stop sell. Give me one moment. It's going to check my bracket. Yeah, so just came back there to the entry point. I had actually clicked uh, record and realized that it, I clicked the wrong button and uh, I clicked the pause button instead. Or the uh, it was like a streaming button or something like that. But anyway, here we are. In short, you can see I've set up the uh, what I believe to be the the most optimal targets. Just watching the three sisters here, guys, uh, while I'm doing this, looking for clues, and uh, thankfully we're getting support from the Nasdaq, from the S and P, and of course the Dow. Uh, and this is the S and P that I am short here. All right, let's watch this thing play out. Just making sure everything's working here on my, I was clicking all kinds of buttons here, yeah. Okay, I clicked the start streaming button. If my streaming software is not set up, I don't live stream anymore. And that's why it didn't record. And then uh, now we are, okay, yeah, we're a minute and 24 seconds in, perfect. All right, short here, guys. What happens when you go on vacation for a week and a half? You come back and you forget how to use your how to use your software. Probably a function of old age too. Who knows? But I like to think I'm young. I know I'm not, but we'll go with that. All right, watching closely here. So as I mentioned in the other video this morning, I had a, a gold video, a gold trade this morning. And that worked out quite nicely for a one and a half hour. And uh, I'm showing my, my trades differently now, at least trying this new way of, of uh, showing. Instead of showing points, I'm showing our values and using multiple targets like you see here. Now, I personally don't take partials for the most part. Occasionally I'll do it, but the most part I do not. I take full profits wherever I decide is uh, the, the, place to, the place to take them. What I'm showing here is a two to one. So risking one R to make two, but with interim targets of uh, one R, one and a half R, and then of course the two R ultimate uh, target. And um, what I'll do is manage it along the way. And I'm doing this for you. I typically know where I'm getting out. Uh, as you can see by my 600 plus videos that I've posted since October <laughs> of uh, last year, just a few months now. And um, But I'm looking for ways, and this is really a brainstorm or a brainchild that I had on on my vacation uh, last week and the week before, half of the week before. A way to, to incorporate other styles of trading into my setups. And I don't take partials, many traders do. I take, uh, I typically go for one to one or one and a half to one, sometimes two to one, but not always. But if I can mechanize this in a way that other traders who trade differently can fit their own style in, then so be it. So I'm gonna try to do that if it works, I'll keep doing it. Based on feedback, I'll keep doing it. If I don't like the way it feels, I'll just go back to the way I was doing it before. And uh, ultimately, this is about being um, as effective and optimized as possible in my own trading, but also in helping you. And that's why I'm doing this on social media. Of course, I don't charge for anything. It's just sharing for the love of the game. So I want to be able to accomplish both to enhance my own trading, but also to be able to help you in the most effective way. All right. So for now, let me put you on pause. We'll wait for this, uh, this uh, trade to play out. Here we go, pause. Driving down now a little bit, at least, looking to hit that one R. See if we can get there, shall we? Yep, snapping back up again. This would be a, a zone break trade, trend continuation. More of a trend continuation, actually, because the zone was really just formed in this session. So this is a TCON trend continuation 
following a nice multi zigzag uh, consolidation here and then driving down. So a TCON trade, trend continuation. Looking to hit that 1R. See if we can strike that thing, shall we? And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, and it has to, everything to do with price action here as well. Back on pause. Okay, had a little bit of a pullback, and now we've hit 1R. Many traders, or some traders, may move their stop to break even at this point. Some will move it to, let me just put that back where it was, some will move it to half an R at this time. Others won't do anything. Some traders will take half of their profits now off the table and move the stop to break even on the rest. You may take half the profits off the table here and leave the stop exactly where it is in the original position. Different traders do different things. I don't take partials myself. Very rarely will I do that under very specific circumstances, but that's neither here nor there. My way isn't necessarily the right way, but I am moving my stop to break even. Stop is here now for my trade, and we'll see how it pans out. I'm just gonna put the marker back where it is. I think it looks nicer there, but for the record, I'm now at break even, heading towards one and a half R. We'll see how it goes from here. Pause. Just tapped one and a half R. I'm now moving my stop to uh, one R. My stop is now at one R right here. And so if prices move back to here, I'm out with a guaranteed one R or it will be tapping two R for a full, uh, for a full win, if you will. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to explain this in the terms to you. So excuse my kind of fumbling a little bit here. So I'm actually thinking it through while I'm explaining to you. So I'm thinking about how optimal this is for you. And again, I welcome your feedback in the comments. If you think this is helpful to you and your style of trading, then great. I'll keep doing it. Otherwise, I'll go back to the way I was doing things before. I just want to always be improving in helping my communication with you. So I do appreciate your ongoing uh, support and feedback on these matters. And trend continuation trade, guys. My stop is at 1R. One more push. And we're done. Nice 2R win. Second trade of the day. My first one was a gold trade in the UK session. The video will be beside this one. And then this one here. So up uh, 3.5R today. I'm pretty happy with that so far. It's 1117. Not even lunchtime yet. Feeling pretty good about that. Have an amazing day, guys. We'll talk soon. Take care.